Okay, so this is our video that's going to go through the maximum and minimum examples, so like how to find the maximum and minimum uh, of a curve, okay? So this is an x cubed curve you might be able to see, so it's going to look something like that. So there's going to be two turning points, yeah? So I'll just, let me just get rid of that, uh, and we'll get started. So first, to find the turning points is the first bit of the question. Remember, we find that dy dx is equal to zero, okay? So dy dx is going to be equal to, if we differentiate this, 3x squared minus 18x plus 15, okay? And we let that equal to zero, okay? So that's going to be 3x squared minus 18x plus 15 is equal to zero. I'm going to divide everything by 3, or you'll be left with 8, or x squared minus 6x plus 5 is equal to zero. Yeah, so if we factorize this then, it's going to be x minus 5 and x minus 1 is equal to 0. That means x is equal to 5 or x is equal to 1. Okay, that look good so far? So that means they're the values of x that, that the curve turns at. I'm just going to draw a line down here and we're going to find the actual turning points. Okay, so remember, if you remember to find the turning point, you have to sub in your x is equal to 5 and x is equal to 1 back into the original um, equation here, okay? So I'm gonna write out, here we go, um, x is equal to five. That means that y is equal to five cubed minus nine by five squared plus 15 by five, okay? And that means y is gonna be equal to minus 25. And then at x is equal to 1, then y is going to be equal to, and I just draw a squiggly line there, 1 cubed minus 9 by 1 squared plus 15 by 1. In this case, y is going to be equal to 7. Okay, so our two turning points are, do this in orange, they're going to be 5 and minus 25 and 1 and 7, okay? So now we need to see if it's a maximum or a minimum, okay? Next part then, so if you want to find out if something is a maximum or a minimum, I'm going to write that down, max or min, I'm just going to say these are the turning points as well. Turning points, okay? So we want to find out if they're maximum or minimum, so we're going to take uh, I'll use dark blue. We're going to take the d2y dx squared, okay? So, first thing is saying the dy dx, just so you can see where, where it's coming from, is equal to this here 3x squared minus 18x plus 15, okay? That means d2y dx squared is going to be equal to. 6x, so again, it's the same rules, just differentiate it again, 6x minus 18, yeah? And the 15 will go to zero. So now we need to look at this d2y dx squared at the points, okay? So the points in question are, again, x is equal to 5. So that means that x is equal to 5, and, actually, and, right the other one, and x is equal to 1, yeah? So d2y dx squared here, d2y dx squared is going to be equal to 6, by 5 minus 18, which is going to be 30 minus 18, which is going to be 12, okay? And then d2y dx squared is equal to 6 by 1 minus 18, which is going to be equal to minus 12. So if we think back to the last video, which is this in yellow, this is positive, okay? And that means that the function is going to be increasing. And if we think that it's increasing, it's going from minus to plus, okay? So it's going to be like this, so going from minus, 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 plus, 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 okay? So this is going to be a minimum. And then this one here is negative. That means that the function is going to be decreasing. And that means it's going from uh, plus to minus, so it's going to be going like this. Therefore, it's a maximum. 
Does that make sense? So it's best probably to go through those three steps every time you get the d2y dx squared, just to make sure you don't get mixed up. Uh, it's just logical if you think about it in, in that way. Yeah? So that means we know that x is equal to 5, it's a minimum, and x is equal to 1, it's a maximum. So we go back up here, and I just get rid of this purple, and turning points. Where are we? And we'll go purple again. No, we'll go red. Why not? Okay, so that means this is going to be our minimum, and this is going to be our maximum. Yeah? Let's go back here, add x is equal to 5, it's a minimum, and x is equal to 1, it's a maximum. So there's our answer to the question. We have our two turning points, and we've established if they're minimum or maximum. Okay, and I'll just go through that all quickly again. So the, this is the kind of question you might be able to get in the exam. So they give you something like this, and they say find the turning points, and establish if they're maximum or minimum. So to find the turning points, we let dy dx equal to 0. Okay, so dy dx is equal to 0 you get a quadratic and then you have to solve it. It's going to be two values, two turning points, because it's a cubic, so it's going to go up like that. Um, so we find the two turning points, and now we need to find if those two turning points are maximum or minimum. So we find d2y dx squared, and we sub our two uh, values for the turning points into d2y dx squared, find if they're positive or negative, and that'll tell, if, tell us if it's a minimum or a maximum. Okay, hope that video helped, and we'll see you next time.